When we take a look at the naked chart, it is almost impossible for us to identify why the price is turning at some areas on the chart and at some areas it's not. It's very hard for us to identify the direction of the market and where is the proper place for us to enter. But fortunately for us as price session traders, we have multiple tools in our disposal that we can use to safely identify the market bias and identify where the high probability setups are going to appear. And the number one tool I want to talk about in today's video is going to be the trend line, the trend channel. It sounds simple. It sounds that is too simple to be true, but price session likes to move in form of a geometrical patterns. The candles on the chart are never alone. They're never naked. They're always contained by a channel. And if you learn to properly redraw these trend lines, you will stay on the right side of the market. So let's take a look at the structure we had today and how did I approach today's market. This is the pre-market session. This was the price session that I would see before I start trading and I would come and sit in front of charts at this area right here. You guys saw that there is a rhyme and reason to these price moves. There is a move working higher, which the trend line is confirmed at the bottom. You just copy it, put it at the top. There is a break and new extreme. That's according to price session trend line rule. After a break, traders are going to retest the new extreme and then you expect correction or straight up reversal. So notice after price created a break of the uptrend, created new extreme, price corrected and then reverse. So that is the information from the markets that I have to adapt and I have to redraw the downtrend now because downtrend is now the prevalent structure. As the downtrend is pushing lower, there is a break and there is a first leg to a new extreme, pull back, second leg to a new extreme. Market likes to move in pairs of twos and sometimes you will not get just one leg to a new extreme like this, but you will get a second leg to a new extreme like this. So when I'm watching this live and I see price forming new low and pushing first entry short pullback, second entry short, I didn't like taking this entry even though it is at the key entry point. This 21 bar exponential moving average is blue line. Already I have a break new extreme. I have a micro double bottom, almost triple bottom and overall price is looking very range like so i'm not really anticipating for price to go short at this point on there was a push lower market opened around this area and then strongly pushed above ema now that the price is pushing back above ema and we had two legs to a new extreme the new structure of the market is beginning and i have to find my new channel because remember i cannot just leave these, these bars naked on the chart without any channel and most of the time you will find the channel of the first few swings and the first few swings you got right here so what i'm going to do i'm going to locate my trend line something like this i'm just going to copy it put it at the top and you guys can see how nicely price is fitting inside this channel and now the price movement is making sense now it makes sense why the price is pushing higher without all of these lines on the chart it doesn't make sense why the price is turning at some area you have no idea why price turned down here it's because uptrend already had to break a new extreme you have no idea why price is pushing higher right here it's because the downtrend already had to break and two legs down so since this is the bullish structure right now, I'm waiting for high probability setup. And the high probability setup is going to be a two-legged pullback at the key entry point. One of the high probability setups. There is a potential for copper of higher lows, but they're a little bit more aggressive. I'm just going to focus on the two-legged pullback because price created a new high, created the first entry long, pullback, second entry long. Now this is how price session likes to move. This is the first leg down, pullback, second leg down. Notice there's the first leg, second leg, first leg, second leg indicating that the bearish correction is over because not only I have to draw the trend lines for the most recent patterns, let's say for the bigger patterns, I have to redraw them even for the short term corrections because I want to know when it's okay to sell. And after you have a break, new extreme for the downtrend, now I know that it's okay to go long, excuse me, and this is the first high priority setup for the day. Two legged pullback, second entry long, closed above EMA, First break of this uptrend and you expect according to rules to get a new extreme. You're expecting to get this break, new high, break, new high. So after price created break and a new high, EMA kept holding price already indicating that price is not reversing. In fact, the bulls are still active and as strongly as price pushed higher, this is a strong confirmation that there is a new channel working higher because this is too steep and this leg up is now starting to be too large for this tiny little initial uptrend because this was overall very lazy price session. We were basically going sideways with a little bit of a bullish momentum and now it truly picked up. Now EMA is truly pointing higher and I have to find my new channel to the upside. Notice I have these uh, multiple highs marked by the key level because these key levels will come into play. You always want to identify the overnight highs and overnight lows. So as the price is pushing higher right now, 
I'm not looking for price to turn back to fade it because the uptrend right now is in play. This was the uptrend that I had at the time. Initially, when I first was observing this uptrend, I was drawing it really tight. But as the price reversed from here for no reason, far away from EMA and kept pushing higher, this is where I figured that there may be a larger channel. So as the price is right now pushing higher, notice I'm still drawing the short-term corrections. And by the way, there is no high priority setup on the way up. And this is completely normal. High priority setup needs to fit certain criteria. And if there is no setup according to these criteria, you're not taking an entry because anything can happen and you want to rely just on the high priority setup. Now the market is pushing higher. And there was a new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Similar pattern to this, but it's far away from key entry point and the signal bar is horrible. It is a bearish doji bar. If I want to go long, I'm going to buy. I want to buy above bullish bar. And this is not a bullish bar, nor it is at the key entry point. But here's the important part why I want to talk about trend lines today so much. Because now you had a break of this uptrend and now you had a new extreme. So what you are expecting from the price action, you're expecting for price to reverse or either correct and with such a strong bearish push below EMA you're expecting to get reversal because what you can do and what you can have you can have a continuation of the uptrend but if you get a continuation of the uptrend exponential moving average has to hold and you're going to push higher here EMA didn't hold price we completely sliced through it and completely ignored it plus overall look at this trading range structure this is two sideways of a structure this is not really looking like a strong uptrend, so I cannot look for wider pattern. I'm just sticking to the shortened trend lines with such a strong push below EMA. I have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. Below EMA, downtrend, now has a break and need new extreme. Notice the price created new extreme. This was my first trade for the day. I didn't take this trade from 2000 tick chart. I took this trade from 2500 because on 2000 tick chart, it was quite stacked. I didn't want to take it, but at the last second, I took a look at 2500 tick chart and the signal bar. And overall, the pattern looked much cleaner. So I decided to take it. I got the limit order. I barely got the scalp and then price reversed. These were my two trades that I took. You guys can see this was my entry. I got my scalp here, fortunately, with a little bit better signal bar. Runner got stopped. And here is my second entry for the day. I took a felt second entry. Sure, we're going to talk about it. And I didn't take any other entry because uh, I like to be done with those two entries for the day at this point on the market was really fast was really volatile and you guys know on wednesdays i record my trading but i didn't record this trade because i forgot to press the recording button when i press the recording button i thought i was already recording but i ended up just recording the complete end of the trend so i was talking to myself here the entire time and the only trade i managed to record was this trade right here and we're going to talk about it so i took this trade right here felt second entry long expecting for price to create a break new extreme and also we have a failed breakout of the trading range. So I'm expecting for price to go back down into a trading range. But price created a break, new extreme, and now pushed back above EMA. So once you have a break and new extreme, you're expecting according to trend line rules to get a reversal or correction. And since these trend lines are tight, you'll probably get a reversal. And notice what you have. Strong push above EMA, indicating that a lot of buyers are stepping into the market. You have a first entry short failure, high low, pull back second entry short failure notice how it's right at the ema you take the one tick lower look at this big bearish bar this is a second entry short but it's above the ema and the downtrend played out if it closed below ema it is much better entry but since it pushed above you cannot go short in fact you can capitalize on people getting trapped it take one tick lower all their orders got filled and it's reverse up this is where i entered and market created scalp all right, guys, I'm preparing my limiter as I'm going to take a felt second entry short. And it closed quite big. So I'm just going to sneak in with the limit order. Let's see if we can get it. Um, I'm just going to try to get a little bit better entry. I'm just going to try to get a little bit better entry. All right, so I, I'm in this felt second entry short. I'm going for 10 ticks. I use the limit order and let's see if we can get the scalp. And we got out. Perfect. So I'm going to tighten the stop loss, letting the run around. After that, price formed double top and strongly reversed back down. So now I have to naturally find another channel. At first, I'm looking at the tight channel like this. But notice how strong this big move down is. And notice how strong this big move up is. First, I was drawing this tight trend line. But as the move kept pushing higher and the move was quite large, this is where you have to figure that the trend line is slightly wider and the same thing right here as the price kept pushing lower 
This is where I adjusted my trend line because right here, according to trading range rules, you're coming from the fell breakout and you expect for price to go all the way up from here, all the way down to here to this first major key entry point where price reacted to. And notice how we are right now so far using a simple price action without any complicating set of indicators. We're just following these trend lines and we're just looking for two legged pullbacks at the key entry points. I am looking for a two legged pullback at the key entry point and I never get a second entry short at the key entry point. I just have to sit here and watch this market go without me. But this is now a strong bearish structure. This downtrend is in play. Notice how EMA is pointing down and according to simple price action, I'm just going to follow the downtrend and I'm going to think bearish unless I get a break and a new extreme form. But notice what happened. Price broke the downtrend and formed a two-legged pullback. But you may think that this is a high probability setup, but it's not because this is far from exponential moving average. So what I have to do, I have to give price room to correct to key entry point. And as the price is pushing higher through EMA, this is indicating to me that there may be a potentially stronger bullish move up and here's the dilemma what you are expecting because number one you push below the trading range and you're expecting for price to get a little fell breakout and number two you have a strong downtrend and you expect for price to create new extreme when i was watching this and i see such a strong bear downtrend like this i expect to get new extreme even though we're pushing higher above ema like this I'm not particularly looking to go long because it is normal for price to test these breakout areas. Notice we have an area of the key level, we broke the key level, we corrected, tested the key level, this is the breakout pullback, and now if you push below EMA, you know that the downtrend is resuming. Really, a move like that is going to get new extreme even in trading ranges. So you're basically just watching and letting this correction play out because this is a smaller correction compared to this overall downtrend working lower. Once the key level get tested, you're watching if price pushes below EMA and if it pushes below EMA, you can get lower high or felt second entry long. And in this instance, a lower high is enough because it closed right below EMA. You expect to get a new extreme of the downtrend. Unfortunately, once you see this bar forming, you're preparing your order, you want to sell below this bar, put your stop loss above this bar, but it didn't happen. There was no trigger, it stalled, formed a bullish bar, and you cannot go short now below the bullish bar. So you would have missed this entry unless you would have kept your stop order already below this bar right here, which once I see a bullish bar like this after the low high, I generally tend to scratch the idea and I tend to wait for felt second entry long. I hope you guys understand from the market perspective, what you are looking for you're basically looking at this this major downtrend had a break and you need new extreme notice price created a big move down to new extreme and according to price action rules notice how it's applying all over the chart you have a new low and you're expecting correction or reversal with strong push above ema like this you're indicated that this is going to be a reversal so now what i have to do again i have to identify what is the pattern on the chart i just cannot let these bars go without any form of pattern. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to draw a wider channel like this. So I'm expecting a new uptrend to start. As the price is creating break, new extreme, another new extreme, and another new extreme, that just shows me that this trend line is too small and there's a potential bigger pattern developing. And I can see that there is a spike and a channel pattern being present. So this is what I was watching. And this is the bullish structure. And now I'm looking for two legged like pullback, second entry long at the key entry point. Look what we have. We have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. First leg down, pullback, second leg down. But if I want to go long on a two legged like pullback, I need to see a second entry long above EMA. And notice what you have. You have a new high, first entry long, push below EMA, second entry long, failure. Look at this big juicy bearish bar. This is a felt second entry long below EMA. So this on the first glance, so this at first glance looks like a great reversal pattern, like a great trap. But since we know that we are following the trend line rule and we always get a reversal after price creates a break and a new extreme or an attempt for a new extreme, then price reverses. Now we cannot just take reversal just yet because this uptrend is in play. It is just first break of the uptrend and according to price session, we are expecting to get a new extreme and this is truly what happened. This was just a correction, two legs down and we had a double trap, which I'm going to mark as a high priority setup. 
because what this represents is everybody who went long on a second entry long too early, they got stopped out because they're going long below EMA. They're not patient. They're not at the key entry point. And everybody who's going short too early, trying to predict the reversal without new extreme being formed, they got trapped again. So this is the double trap, pushed above EMA, nice bullish bar, great entry and notice price created a new extreme. So you're expecting the same thing to happen just like prior. You're expecting for price to give you correction or reversal. And how do you know you're going to reverse? You're going to push below EMA. EMA can hold price, uptrend can resume. It didn't. It pushed strongly below EMA indicating strong bearish momentum. So I'm going to draw the trend line. And right now, from this point on, I'm thinking bearish because I just had a break at a new extreme. So I'm looking for price to give me a lower high or felt second entry long. Price pushed lower and created a lower high, but it formed quite odd. This is really bearish doji. It took a little bit of time to develop. Not a bad entry. I would prefer to get a felt second entry long. So this is a little bit of aggressive entry. If you took it, I can definitely see why I'm even mark it as an aggressive entry because now this is the first break of this downtrend and you know what's most likely going to happen. You're going to get a break and move to a new extreme. And after that, you're going to see what price is going to do because what can happen? We can push to the EMA, EMA can reject price and we may continue pushing lower, but it didn't happen. After price form break and a new extreme and strongly pushed above EMA, same thing is happening right here. The uptrend is resuming and notice there are multiple lows being formed. So I'm looking at this as a potential start of a trading range because EMA is no longer pointing up. It's getting flat and price is swinging down, up, down, up. So at this point on, you're finally starting to get a hint that the uptrend is resuming. But notice how I am not extending the trend lines wider like this. Okay, this is not what I'm doing. And I'm not extending the trend lines wider like this because bigger patterns, they take time to develop and you don't want to widen the channel right after you had a break in your extreme, because especially not in trading range structure. There is no strong downtrend or uptrend on this chart. This is just a trading range. So you're following the tighter ones. And now the bigger pattern has developed. Notice that we have a break in a new extreme. And look, I didn't extend my trend line like this because this is too early. Only after I have a new high and this bearish move down failed because now it have a break in a new low and it pushed back above EMA. Now is the time where you can start looking for price to offer you a bigger pattern. And you can find the channel from this wing combined with this wing. You're just going to copy, put it at the top. It got confirmed right here and later on it got confirmed right here. So let's talk about what's going to happen right here because right now you have a two structures that you're paying attention. You have a bullish option working higher and you have a trading range. So as I see this micro double bottom which resets the count, I see a strong push above EMA and I have a high low setup coming off the little felt breakout and coming off the trend line. Notice how the trend line is right now holding price. So this is a high priority setup. This entry, however, is too big. Stop loss has to go below this bar right here. There's a double bar entry. So I'm only marking it as an educational purpose because in real time, you are not able to enter this due to risk to reward. But I want you guys to focus on this entry and remember this because this is a great setup. High low coming off the key entry point in a bullish structure right now. Price pushed higher and gave you a felt second entry short. High priority setup because the structure is bullish. The setup I really liked and I really consider high priority setup now, new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Notice we have a first leg down, pull back, second leg down. This is the two leg up pull back. We had right here, first leg, second leg, and now we have a first leg, second leg. Down trying play with the break in your extreme, but you're overall pushing higher. This key entry point is holding price again. EMA keeps holding and this is a nice bullish bar. Great second entry long with the overall direction of the trend. And I want you guys to take a look at a repeat pattern that happened in March. And this pattern looks almost identical to the option we were talking about just a couple seconds ago. Because take a look what happened. We had uptrend working higher, price created a break, new extreme, downtrend created a break in new extreme. We were consolidating, price is not pushing down. And the new stronger uptrend, the bigger pattern was developing combined with this trading range. And notice we are getting all of these setups based off the EMA and this major channel right here. And to me, it looks completely identical 
to the structure we are having on the chart right in front of us. If I compare these two patterns right next to each other, you guys can see this is completely identical from price action structure perspective. Major uptrends working higher, combined with the trading range structure, and you get all the high probability setup from this key entry point. Same thing right here, you get all the high probability setup of this key entry point. And this is why we spend so many hours studying the price action, going back through our trades, watching the charts because these patterns are repeating over and over again and this is proof that you are not wasting your time spending so many hours watching these bars print on the chart because these patterns are repeating and you will be getting flashbacks from the past and you will be getting a gut feeling that this channel is working that these setups are high probability because you've seen this happen so many times and you build the trust throughout the experience and once you build the trust you're able to execute on the high priority setup that is developing in front of us so you guys can see uptrend working higher high priority setups there was no other high priority setup at the time notice what price is doing right now price is working sideways in this congestion and normally once price breaks out of the congestion, we would like to fade the breakout with the overall direction of the trend, which this is with the overall direction of the trend. But notice we are at the important key level. And if you zoom out, you can see that this is a trading range structure. And notice how the trend is losing steam. We are failing to reach this upper trend channel. We are barely pushing it to the midline. And you guys can see how it looks that this trend is losing steam. It's wavering and we're about to tilt. So for that reason, you cannot go along here while you close at the highs of this congestion, even though if it's a bell breakout with the overall direction of a trend, it's looking too wedgy. Price is pushing lower. At this point on, I was still expecting for price to give me a high low above EMA because the trend line was holding price, but I was supposed to shift my focus on the key level on the range structure, the fact that you're below EMA and it's looking very wedgy and notice how the trend is losing steam so if you combine all these factors the trend is losing steam key entry point price is looking like a wedge you're below ema you can even take a felt second entry long this setup right here even if it's directly into this key entry point because you're expecting for this key entry point to come into play and for price to eventually push lower but i was still kind of respecting the uptrend and if we closed above ema I would be still willing to go long at that point on. Notice how price is pushing lower. And now since we're talking about trend line rules, notice what happened. We have a downtrend working lower. We have a break. Now you're expecting according to price action rules to get a new extreme. Notice you have a new low, first entry short, second entry short. I was expecting to get a second entry short here, but this was unentrable. Signal bar is bullish doji followed by a two big bearish bar that already formed new extreme so there is no entry no way for us to enter on a second entry short but notice price created a break new extreme indicating that this downturn is over price strongly pushed above ema confirmed the bullish momentum and it resumed this overall uptrend so now we start to look for longs again because this is the first break of the overall uptrend and we expect to get new extreme so notice how just simple following the price action is keeping you on the right side of the market and it makes sense why the price is moving in certain direction. Once you see strong push above EMA, you expect new high, you're expecting to get a second entry long or felt second entry short. There's a new high, kind of like a first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Technically second entry long trigger above this bearish bar, but you cannot go long above bearish bar and there was no trigger above bullish bar here it came far down here above this bullish bar so i'm treating this as a first entry long pull back second entry long uptrend is new extreme but look at the single bar look at the half of the body is a bearish stem and it closed below ema so this would have been a great entry same thing right here had it formed a little bit better but we cannot enter on such a horrible single bars like this notice price kept pushing higher creating multiple new extremes and now you have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. And can we take this high priority setup to like a pullback? No, we can't because we already had a break. We had first leg to new extreme, pullback, second leg to new extreme. We have a downtrend working lower and this downtrend is in play. At the same time, I don't want to go short just yet because if I zoom out like this, I can see that this bullish uptrend was quite strong. When I was watching this, I was a little bit unsure. I was expecting for price to give us a high low, but the best thing to do 
when you're in this area is just to be patient because this is one of those areas where it is too early to go short because the structure looked a little bit too strong bullish and you cannot go long because now you had break and a multiple legs to a new extreme and overall structure if you take a look is looking like a train range so there is no flatter channel so this was the area where it's quite confusing you guys can see how stemmy and choppy it's starting to get and you just have to be a little bit patient in this area because like i mentioned you're too high to go long after new extremes and picking a top you never know how much it's going to create a few little pushes higher so you're just watching being patient here you're drawing the short trend lines you have a downtrend break new extreme indicating that the bearish momentum is over you have uptrend working higher break no new extreme uptrend just strongly reversed strong push below ema and right now notice what is happening right now the ema is getting flat and we are swinging up and up and down and you can start to see that this is starting to be a trading range above this major trading range so you're sticking to the short -term trend lines you have a break new extreme form indicating that the bearish momentum is over and then you had a first entry short second entry short but at this point on i was expecting to to get a long setup because we just had a break and a new extreme so I don't consider any setup here as a high priority. Then you had a break, another leg to new extreme, a little fell breakout, potentially decent setup, but the signal bar is horrible. Now you have a two legs to new extreme, fell breakout below this support that acted as a resistance. So you expect for price to push above EMA, but look how big this bar is. You have to put stop loss below here, and this is unenterable. Market pushed higher, created a break, new extreme you're expecting correction or reversal downtrend working over break new low you get a new high first entry long second entry long failure but notice you're back into these lows and this is just area where there is no high priority setup this is all too stacked if you combine it with the previous structure how clean the trends are how the trend line rule is working how the two legged pullbacks are forming there's really no clean setup you're just tempted to take both sides of the trade and that's how you know you're probably guessing you want to buy lows and sell high but there's really no good setup down trip with the break new low you have an uptrend break new high so no setup on the way up or the way down price created new high first entry long pullback second entry long below ema and this is the first high probability setup that is looking decent because you're coming off the range highs you're pushing below ema confirming the bearish momentum and it's a felt second entry long but this felt second entry long you're going short directly into bottom trend line the bar is way too big it can be marked i'm going to mark it because it is a felt second entry long up jump played out with the breaking new extreme you're coming off the top you're expecting to get from the top all the way down these lows but the better entry was this lower high that confirmed the felt second entry long and if the lower high confirms the felt second entry long right after the felt second entry long right at the ema this is a great confirmation setup of this reversal pattern because up jump played out with the breaking new extreme and two felt attempts in the previous trends direction two felt attempts to go long from that point on price kept pushing lower as i saw price pushing lower and lower i redrew the slightly wider channel like this price created a break new low didn't offer us any second entry short strong push back above ema break new high indicating that the uptrend played out so this downtrend played out with the break and the new low this uptrend played out with the break and the new high notice how these trend lines are so reliable so once you see a break and you high, strong push below EMA indicating bearish momentum, you're expecting change in the direction of a trend. And there is a beautiful lower high setup confirming strong push below EMA. EMA keeps holding price and a great entry for today. After that, I already, you know, the market is about to close and you guys can see uh, you basically get a tight trading range before the close. So remember, follow the trend line rule. Don't try to extend and make the trend line wider in trading ranges too quickly. You cannot try to make them wider like this after you have a break in your extreme. You will get the information from the market that it's about to time to extend the trend line. And this was the important information. Uptrend created a break in your extreme. Instead of price reversing down, we just had a break in a new low and again push above EMA. And this was the important information while the downtrend played out and strongly reversed and pushed above EMA, then now you're safe to look for a bigger, wider pattern. So hopefully you guys uh, had a great day today. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.